was interesting. Carnival just hit $8. That's a pretty low price. Now could be a good time to enter. But I think I'm going to wait a little bit longer and see what happens next. We're not at the end of the virus. We don't know where it's going to go. I'm just going to wait a little while longer. I'm not going to jump into the market just yet. It's a very high risk stock, so I better take my time. Oh my god, are you guys seeing this? Are you guys seeing what's happening? Carnival's at it. Mom, mom, get the camera. Get the Give me the life savings now. I need the life savings now. Carnival's at $8. Remortgage the house. I need the money right now. Quick, it's $8 a share. What is happening, people? It is your boy, Jack. And today, we're coming back with yet another video on everybody's favorite high-risk player right now. Carnival Cruise Corp stock. So we've spoke about these guys in the past, but some recent developments have happened. Some developments have happened since our last videos. Uh, namely, we fell below $8 a share again. We've seen two crazy days of growth and we've seen the Saudis get involved. So there is quite a bit to cover today, but I wanna speak about why I didn't invest in them when they dropped below $8 again. And some people are gonna think I'm crazy for not doing it after the last two days we've seen. That they're just flying up in value, absolutely flying up in value. And I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about missing out. If they leave me behind, they leave me behind. I'll stick with all of my other stocks. You can't be afraid of missing out in the stock market or else you're going to ultimately make bad decisions. Now, don't get me wrong. I think $8 was an absolutely fantastic entry point. And anybody who got in, congratulations to you. You're rolling in the money right now. But with me, I don't think this is the end of it. Obviously, that's why I put the skit at the start of the video. I don't think we're anywhere near the end of this terrible situation that's going on in the world. I don't think that just below $8 is the lowest that Carnival is going to go to. In my opinion, I could be completely wrong. I'm some random 22-year-old who knows absolutely nothing about anything. But that's just my opinion, and that's why I did not buy into them with all of the hype that was surrounding them when they were just below $8. So a lot of people are emotionally invested in Carnival, particularly when it gets to the right price, which right now seems to be around the $8 mark. But there's been an influx of actually promising and positive news for Carnival the last week or two. So that's getting priced back into the market now. You know, there's been some good news. People are feeling a little bit more optimistic, so they're more willing to buy, which is why we've seen such sharp increases, not to mention that the market as a whole has started moving very positively. And again, I think if you get in at $8 in the long term, that's an amazing, amazing entry point. I personally believe they will soar far, far higher than that. I believe they will match their equal highs if they don't go bankrupt in the very near future, in a matter of a few years. Obviously, again, I don't know these things. This is pure speculation, but that's what I see happening. So $8 is an incredible investment. Me, I just want to see what happens next. I'm not worried about missing out. If I don't get in at a price I'm happy with, I don't get in. It's that simple for me. But just before we go any further, guys, I'm going to ask you, please do me a massive favor and just smash that like button for me. It helps the channel out. It helps me out so much. It helps us get seen by more people. Subscribe if you are indeed new around here and want to see more videos from me and drop me a comment at the end of this video with your thoughts on carnival as a company to invest in if you are invested in them already what price you got in i'm really interested but let's just go through what's actually happened the last few days why the stock is soaring what's going on with carnival right now so guys we're going to start it off just by having a little bit more of a look at carnival stock and how it has moved the last few days because it has been absolutely mental now as a whole they've been mental if we just look at the last month it's all over the place the last six months down up down up boom boom it's all over the place but now we're just looking at the last five days okay and we're going to start off by looking at where we closed last week at eight dollars and fifty cents on the button of share okay we opened up at 927 we climbed up 1076 and then boom we closed at 1026 that is only a couple of dollars but when a stock is eight dollars a ten percent jump equates to 80 cents in this case 85 cents the stock jumped over 20 percent in one day an absolutely massive massive jump in one day alone and then the next day we got the news about the salaries on this day boom it jumped all the way up then another 20 percent pretty much with immediate effect to 1235 it did then take a dip and it closed out a little bit lower, but still a massive growth the second day in a row of over 10% nonetheless. And this comes back to an extent about what I spoke about a little bit earlier on in the video, that there's actually been some good promising news in regards to Carnival released over the last week, you know? They're managing their money better, they've managed to raise capital, they have that, you know, they're using their assets to get into more debt to let them survive a little bit longer. They're doing things well, and then we see that this happens, the Saudis decide to take a massive stake in the business. 
that's a lot more money for them yet again. So people are feeling a little bit more comfortable investing their own money into Carnival, which is why I believe we've seen this absolutely massive surge of well over 30% in the case of two or three days, which is crazy. Currently sitting at 11.30, the market is about to open in literally two minutes, so we'll get to see where it opens. I'll tell you what, I'll just wait here for you guys. We'll see where the market opens, just out of interest. Just, why not, why not? Let's do it live, baby. So market has literally just opened, and yeah, up 5.5% at market open we'll have to see how this plays out but that is that's a pretty juicy increase for a third day in a row already now this could just completely go the other direction it could skyrocket up you see it's already dropping a little bit nobody knows we'll just have to see how today plans out but nonetheless a crazy few days a crazy good few days for carnival which is nice to see and i'm sure if you are investing in them right now you are very happy now a little bit more about we spoke about the saudis i said that they bought a position here's what happened so saudi arabia bought a huge stake in carnival and this played a massive part of their stock price going up. The public investment fund, Saudi Arabia's sovereign wealth fund, recently purchased a large stake in the embattled cruise line, Carnival. How are they gonna miss a space between line and Carnival? Like, surely this is a respectable website. Anyway, they disclosed that it owns 43 and a half million Carnival shares as of Monday in a form filled with the Securities and Exchange Commission. If you go over 5% total share in a company, you have to, you know, publicize that, I believe, within 10 days. So that's why this information has came out. Um, the fund's investment amounts to an 8.2% stake in the cruise line. 8.2% stake? Bought like that, man. The Saudis have money to burn. It must be those low oil prices. So this is great news for current investors. That much money was just put into the stock. Your stock price is going to raise as a result of that. It's bad news for someone like me who is hoping to get into the stock because it means that it's going to be performing well. It's more than likely going to go up. We might have to wait a little bit longer to get in or we may never get in. You know what I mean? I don't like to buy on green days, especially with a stock like this. If I'm looking at a massive company like Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble, someone like Pepsi, the big massive companies, I don't try and time them whatsoever. You know what I mean? A percent or two here or there, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter too much to me. But with a company like Carnival, who is jumping 20 plus percent regularly on a daily basis, to an extent you have to be a little bit smarter with your investing. You can't just go in randomly, you can't just go in, you know, because you see one good day, because it could be followed by two bad days, and then you're going to be sad, you're going to be like, why didn't I just wait a little bit longer? I just want to get that out there. Usually I don't try and time my investments whatsoever, but with a stock like this, I think you have to be a little bit more patient and a little bit smarter. And though I still think it's at a good price, at what are we at, Eleven ninety two, pretty much $12? Yes, from a long-term point of view, I still personally think this is an incredible entry point. And that shows just how good of an entry point I think that $8 was. I think it's incredible in the long term. If we avoid bankruptcy, that's the big question. They're obviously going to soar a lot, lot higher than this in the years to come. Especially if you don't think about 1, 2, 3 years. If you think about 5, 10, 20 years, of course they're going to get stronger they're gonna make the money they've always been making they'll make more money they'll do better than ever before people will get their confidence back people have money to burn they'll be going on their cruises they'll be gambling on their cruises they'll be buying as much food as they want they'll be buying as much drinks as they want essentially the cruise line will boom as the economy booms which it inevitably will at one stage or else the world's just gonna end and if the world's just gonna end who cares if all your money's in the stock market you're dead it doesn't matter things just got a bit dark very quickly but that's why I'm not worried. Regardless of what happens, it's going to be an amazing entry point from a long-term point of view. They could go up another 20-30% on where they are now, and I'd still think it's an amazing entry point. I'll just put it out there now, I more than likely won't ever invest in Carnival unless it drops to about 7 or less dollars per share. It more than likely $6 a share would be a price I'd be very happy getting into, but who knows, I might get a little bit excited next time it gets to $8 and open up my first relatively small position. Now a little bit more about me and why I personally didn't just jump on the bandwagon and didn't invest on them. And it's because of the kind of investor that I am. And that plays a massive role in deciding whether or not to invest in a company like Carnival. I primarily like to invest in well-established dividend stocks. I like to invest in massive companies who have a history of getting through tough times and still paying their shareholders a dividend and growing as the years go on. They're the companies I want my money in because they're the safest long-term stocks. Carnival is essentially the exact opposite of the stocks I like to invest in. They're really high risk, but they're also really high reward. What I invest in is really low risk with a decent reward. That's what I do most of the time. So like Dividend Kings, companies that have paid a dividend for over 50 years. Some of these companies are amazing. I'm in Cisco, I'm in 3M. I'm sure I'm in a few more of them as well if we just kept looking through them. But these are the companies I personally like putting most of my money into. 
Now, there is a certain amount of money I put into the slightly higher risk, higher potential stocks, like Delta, a company I'm in right now, who is somewhat seen as high risk. I don't personally think they are high risk. They did have to cut their dividend though. They don't do particularly well in tough economic times, but I think that they have massive growth potential. So I'll put a certain amount of my money aside for companies like Carnival, like Delta, maybe casinos, things along those lines, you know, the higher risk, higher reward ones. But most of my money goes into these companies. That's why I'm in no rush to get into Carnival. Now, in my last video about Carnival, I spoke in depth about about their debt levels and how long they should be able to survive going forwards. So I don't want to get super into that now, but let's just say the conclusion we came to is that as of right now, they can probably survive about eight to 10 months of their expenses with zero income. So if this company can survive for about eight to 10 months, I don't think that anybody expects cruises to be completely off of the waters, completely out of business for the next eight to 10 months. The general consensus is potentially, best case scenario, they'll be back up in about two months more than likely by the end of summer that's what people generally expect and that's when these companies will start making money again and as soon as they do start making money again how long they can survive goes up so quickly so right now with zero income they can last eight to ten months their normal operating expenses is about a billion a month but obviously they're not going to be paying their normal operating expenses right now they're not going to be paying as many staffs they're not paying dividends there's no share buybacks their, their cruise ships are docked. It's going to cost considerably less fuel. It's going to cost considerably less for the whole company, you know, to keep operating because they're essentially not operating. So when I look at Carnival, I actually don't see it as the highest of high risk companies. I've said it before. I see the chance of bankruptcy somewhere between 10 to 25%. And the longer things go on, like the more news that we're getting, I see that fall way more down towards the 10% side of things. They're in a much better position than we knew they were in literally a week ago, two weeks ago, definitely. Obviously, I spend a lot of time on YouTube. I've seen some people say that the chance of bankruptcy is up as high as 50, 60%. I just think that is an absolutely ridiculous number. I, I don't see how you could possibly come to that conclusion. But anyway, that, that doesn't matter. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about why I didn't buy them. Earlier on, I spoke about people's emotional attachment to Carnival and the $8 price point. So right now, the 18th of March, not too long ago, Carnival closed at 9.30. It was actually as low as, I believe, 8.77. We got back to, and look, as soon as we got there, we shot back up. We hit some crazy numbers. We went up, you know what? We went up like 80%. That, that's awesome. But then what happened? We went up and we started to come back down. We reached that $8 mark. We went ever so slightly below it. And again, we're starting to see this same thing. We're starting to see this nice little boom up. It just all looks a little bit too perfect to me. I personally just don't see us having hit Carnival's bottom. And I'm really sorry to all of you who are invested and who are buzzing and who are thinking you hit the jackpot, you're in a stock that's gonna give you back a thousand percent in five years. It may well do, I don't know, but I don't think we've hit the bottom. People are still scared. And more than likely, over the coming weeks, maybe the next month or so, news will come out that will make people even more scared. More people will get laid off from their jobs. More people won't have enough money to invest in the market. And more people will ultimately have to turn their assets into cash and they may have to go and sell their stocks. And one like Carnival that new investors got into, and then they've all on tough times, they've already made 40%, 50%, that's gonna be the first one they sell. You know what I mean? If they can get out at that big of a profit, happy days. And keep in mind just how much good things have actually happened to Carnival the last week. That is why we're seeing this growth, you know what I mean? We haven't factored into the market again what's going to happen next. People are really excited, they think it's gonna fly up because of this good news, anything could happen next, please always remember that. So they're the main reasons I'm not in Carnival yet. You will bet that when I saw it hit $8 for the second time, I was on my phone like this. I was refreshing, I was refreshing. I clicked the buy button about 10 times, I was like, how many stairs will I buy? And each time I just put the phone down and I said, Jack, you're emotionally investing right now, let's not fall down this rabbit hole. Am I sad now that I didn't? I would have been up 50%? No, I'm not whatsoever. If I was sitting on 50% right now, I'd be like, that is not healthy. That A stock should not rise that much that quickly. No matter how tough of times it's fallen on, you should not see a 50% rebound in the space of a couple of days. That's just my opinion, but it's not healthy and I, it's not sustainable. I don't see a world where this could keep up. I'd actually be slightly worried if I was in them now after this 50% increase, because I'd be wondering, should I sell them and try to get in later? But then I'd be worried, what if they never go down again? And you know, I miss out on a 1000% gain for 50% gain. So me personally, I'm actually glad, funnily enough, that I did not get in at the $8 mark. That's gonna sound silly and you may just say that, I'm saying that just to make myself feel better. 
but I'm actually glad it happened because I would be very confused as to what to do right now as I guess a lot of you guys are. What I would say is if you're invested right now always stick to your plan. Always stick to your investment plan. If you plan to buy them and hold them for the next 10 years do it regardless of what happens the next week or two. If you planned on selling once you made a 30% profit sell it. Just stick to the plan. Don't get excited. Don't let emotions take over. But again I'm not a financial advisor. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say this but that's just my thoughts. Don't listen to me though. I'm a 22 year old kid on the internet. I know nothing man. I know nothing and I'm holding my hands up. But anyway, guys, I really do hope that you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think of Carnival in the comments down below. Let me know if you did buy any and what your plan is going forwards because I really, really want to know. I'm not just saying this. I really want to know. But anyway, guys, until the next one, thank you all so much for watching.